everyone, welcome back to today's video. We are at the end of another month. Well, when you're seeing this, we're probably into the next month already, but we're gonna talk about today, the month of, oh my God, April. We are talking about my beauty favorites for the month of April. This whole month has been a, such a whirlwind blur. I don't even know what month we're in anymore. So anyway, we're talking about April favorites today. I have a lot of good things to share with you this month. Last month, if you remember, I was like sitting here, I was like, I don't have that much to share with you. This month is kind of a different story. I do have a lot of things to share with you this month. So without rambling on here too long, let's just jump right into all the good stuff. Subscribe to my channel if you are new and let's get started. Let's start out with the little blingy bling that's on my cheeks right now. The osmosis color. This is the Lustrous Contour Duo. Now I used this in a video over the month and I have just been using this so much this month. It is a duo product like this. You get a contour on the one side and then you get a highlight. This is a powder formula, but it is the silkiest, smoothest powder. It's not chunky or it's not shimmery or anything like that. It's just really smooth on the skin, but I love the glow. The glow is beautiful. I love the color of it. I haven't pulled this out in a really long time because I've been really more into the bronzy like gold tone highlights but I just randomly was like you know what let me put this on for the day one day and I just became hooked again because the color is so gorgeous it's like a silvery pink and it's beautiful on so many different skin tones so I really really love the color of it now so these are my old like MAC palette powders and I've had this forever but I've been pulling out again so much now for the contour again I don't use it as a contour there is actually one of the shaping powders now these are all the pro I think they're called pro shaping powders they're the ones that come in just like the little refill sizes so you just have to pop them in a palette but it's the contours I have the three contour shades and then the three highlight shades so the ones that I've been using and I'll have to look up exactly what the name of it is but it's this shade, it's more of that warm tone. So this is good for bronzing up the skin. And I'll pull up the name, I'll write it down in the description box, which exactly that is. I believe it's Shadester, I believe. Um, but that's what I've been using to just kind of bronze up. And I've just been pulling it out and using it again and just having a little fun pulling out some old products. So that powder, but what I've been really loving the most is this MAC Emphasize. This powder kind of came back on my radar because the whole big KKW beauty, she just came out with the concealer sealers, the bake, the brighten, and people were going nuts for them. I personally bought the powders because I really wanted to test it out. I mean, Kim Kardashian, I don't know what, I mean, she's my age and her under eyes always look so damn good. So I wanted to try her powders just to see, you know, exactly, you know, if they could do the same thing and see how they would look on me. So that's kind of why I remembered this product right here. I was playing around with some like brightening powders because what she does is she bakes under the eye and then she goes back in and brightens under the eye at the same time. But the MAC emphasis size powder, this white powder right here is awesome. And I have been taking it on a brush. You guys saw it in my tutorial that I just did not long ago. I've been taking it on a fluffy brush and just applying it to like down the side of my nose and kind of like in that triangle area here and it just brightens up the under eye areas. And I mean, it's just like a white powder. It just doesn't look like anything. And it's not like it's stark white under your eyes because you just use a little bit. You just want to get it on like a fluffy brush so it's not like you're packing it on or anything. But you just take a little bit of this powder and you just apply it under your eyes, like not even all under your eyes. Like I need to reward that. You don't want to apply it under your eyes. Like you don't want to set your under eyes with this because then you're going to look crazy. You just want to take a little bit and you just want to apply just a little bit to the dark areas. Like I get my dark areas right in here. You just wanna apply just a little bit over those dark areas. And then like I said, I kind of take it down the side of my nose and then out on the cheek a little bit, just like that. And it just brightens up that area. And then that's the powder I've been using to bronze up. And I believe it's Shade Stir. I will double check for you guys. So that's the MAC Emphasize. And then that's the little MAC Bronzer. Just kind of something I've been playing with. Like I said, I've really enjoyed pulling this out. And if you've been wanting the KKW and you just couldn't get your hands on it or you just wanted to see what it's all about, honestly, the MAC Emphasize is just as good as the KKW. Like, honestly, hers was actually kind of good. The powders were really, like, finely milled and soft, and they were actually pretty decent. I was kind of shocked. But the MAC Emphasize is probably just a little bit better, and you can easily get a hold of it. These are going to come up no surprise to you at all this month. These are, like, the concealer, the concealer combination of heaven. If you have more mature skin, and I know I've talked about this in so many videos this month, but if you have mature skin and you are looking for the perfect flawless concealer, 
this combination is like nothing else. And I'm telling you guys, I keep getting message after message on my social media and just on, you know, videos of mine that are like, I've tried the combination you talked about and it is beyond fantastic. Like people can't believe it. And I'm like, I know it's like the most miracle concealer if you have more mature skin. I have very high standards when it comes to concealers. Like I have super high standards. I'm super picky because it has got to look good. It has got to look flawless. It's got to keep everything looking younger under the eyes and it's gonna last all day. Not only is the formula of these combined together just that amazing, but these are both treatment products. So it has a mineral SPF in it, and it has treatment type ingredients that are gonna actually benefit the under eye, supposed to help with dark circles and lines and wrinkles. So you're not just concealing, but you're like actually treating and correcting the under eye at the same time. So these are just a staple, staple in my makeup routine now because I don't have to keep searching for the perfect concealer, like this is Perfect. All right, let me scoop out all of the eye products here because I've been loving a lot of eye products and a lot of them I've been talking about throughout the month and I've hauled and I've shared with you guys. So let me mention these first. These are the Stila, the, which ones are these? The Glitter and Glow. So I shared these with you guys in a haul video. I absolutely love these. I have been using these nonstop. They leave like a glitter look to your eyeshadow. So I love to put these on my lid because you know that's my thing this month and these are amazing. I absolutely love these Stila products. Same as the Cover FX and I shared this with you in a haul as well. These are the Cover FX Shimmer Veils. I did order another one of these during the sales, the recent makeup sales that have been going on. Now this one is more of just like a sheen. This isn't gonna give you a glitter look to your eye like the one I just shared with you from Stila. And then what I've been talking about nonstop are my nude sticks pencils. I just ordered some of the matte ones during the sale as well, so I can't wait to play with those and try those. But these are the magnetic eye, and these are the ones that are the luminous, so they have that little bit of sheen to them. These are not sparkly, these are not chunky, these just give a beautiful sheen, and I've been popping these on the eyelid as well. I used the Guilt Shade in my last makeup tutorial, so if you wanna kinda see how I use that, and you didn't watch that video, how dare you, go watch that tutorial and you'll see exactly how I use them but they're super smooth they are beautiful they are amazing to work with and so fast and so easy you guys I love an easy eye look that's my thing and then this I have been pulling out recently again as well and this is the Sephora Pro palette this is the warm up palette and I just ordered the cool tone palette in my Sephora VIB sale as well because I'm obsessed. Like I am so obsessed with this palette again. I forgot how good this is. This has all your warm tones. It has a majority of matte shades, but then it has some really great, like really pretty sheen shades. And then there's maybe like one, two, three or four that are a little bit, no, maybe like three only, three that have a little bit more of like a chunky shimmer, but they all blend so seamlessly onto the eye. Like they honestly are that type of formula that blend themselves and you don't have to like sit there and like think about it. Like the brush just does the work. These palettes and the Glow Skin Beauty palettes, those are the ones I've been really reaching for this month and I love it. I, I completely forgot about how good this was. So you can see very smooth. And now I will say again, I feel like the mattes are gonna be the smoothest. Like I really Really enjoy the mattes the most in this palette and luckily most of them are the mattes. This is another product you've seen me use over the month, you've seen me talk about non-stop over the month. It's that Tarte Shape Tape Eye Primer. I love this product. I really love it. So it's just an easy little crayon type of product. You prime your eyes with it. It's the perfect nude shade. It doesn't budge. Makes your eyeshadows just hold and look great over top of it. But I love it on the no makeup days just to even out my eyelids. So it's perfect to do that because you get rid of any redness or discoloration or little veins or any of those little annoying things on our eyelids. This completely conceals that. And then you can wear no makeup, no eyeshadow, and just still have like perfect looking eyelids. So I don't wear eyeshadow on a daily basis. So this is what I use on a daily basis to really just perfect the eyelid. And it's just a nude, very smooth color. I mean, you probably won't even see it because it is my skin color, but I'm telling you guys, it is awesome. And this is the only Shape Tape product that I like, and this one's worth it. So these are my little spring blush loves right here. I've been rotating all three of these because I love them so much. Like when you think of spring blushes, each one of these colors is just perfect. These are the osmosis blushes and these are the smoothest, nicest, most blendable powder blushes 
ever. You guys know how obsessed I am with the Osmosis powders. Like their blushes are just as smooth and seamless on the skin and they don't look like powder. I am in love. Like any of their powder products are just absolutely out of this world. And then these are my three like perfect spring tone pick blushes that I've just been non-stop wearing. So what I have on today is Peony. This is the Osmosis Peony. It's a perfect, perfect one of those like youthful pink shades that just kind of brings life to your cheeks and it's just very youthful. It's like one of those light, just perfect pink colors. And then that's it right here. That is Peony. I love that so much. It's so beautiful. And then this one in Tulip, which I shared with you guys over the month as well. So gorgeous. This one's kind of like, it's kind of, I feel like it has pink. I feel like it has a little coral undertone and I feel like it has a little bit slight red undertone. It is the most like perfect combination and that's Tulip right here. So you can see the difference, Peony, Tulip. Look at that. Oh my gosh, like how gorgeous is that? I just love it. And then the other one that I just cannot stop wearing and I have talked about this in previous months. I feel like this is like an all around, like all year blush because it's got that red undertone, so it's like that perfect flush in the winter, but then it also is like, I feel like it's just so perfect for like the spring and summer too, because it kind of gives you that like sunburn look when you blend it in and you kind of like blend it around. It gives you that little bit like, I've been out in the sun a little too long, but I have just the right color. Like it gives you that look. And then did I mention what this one was? This one is Poppy and you can see it right here. So Peony, Tulip, and Poppy. So you can see how Tulip and Poppy, they're similar, but they have different undertones. That's what I said. Like the Tulip has more of a coral, like pinky coral undertone. And then Poppy definitely has more of that like pinky red undertone. All right, we're gonna finish off with two skincare products this month. This is the Is Clinical, the Reparative Moisture Emulsion. So one of my friends that I met through Instagram, she's like a skincare addict and skincare lover like me. She and I talk all the time and she told me, she's like, have you not tried this product yet? She's like, you have to try this moisturizer. And she has um, like rosacea prone skin and a lot of the same skin issues that I deal with, she deals with. So when I know she loves a product, I know I'm gonna love a product. This moisturizer is amazing, you guys. This moisturizer is so nice on the skin. I'm gonna say if you have more dry skin, it's gonna be better for you during the day. Like I have worn this under makeup, but it actually makes me a little bit more oily because my skin is more combination oily. But if you have dry skin, you can use this day and night. But I've been using this at night. It is so nice. I love the ingredients in here. It's soothing, it's calming, it takes down redness. It kind of evens out the skin tone. If you have like blotchy red skin, it kind of helps soothe that. It has anti-aging ingredients. It has very hydrating ingredients. It has great skin barrier ingredients. It's so Nice, it's light on the skin, that's the thing. It's very light on the skin without being heavy, but it's so deeply nourishing and hydrating. And like I said, if you have dry skin, you are going to love this during the day under your makeup as well. You will be obsessed. And the last product I'm gonna mention, now this is the old packaging. This is Sunita's old packaging. Yes, I have the old one of this. I need to upgrade to the new packaging as well. But it's the same ingredients, same product. It's the Sunita's Moisture Mist. And oh my God, oh my God, I'm obsessed. This mist is so insanely good. Now there's like no ingredients to this. It's basically beta-glucan and hyaluronic acid. Now beta-glucan, is one of my favorite, favorite ingredients. It is so great for the skin. It is healing to the skin. It is nourishing to the skin. If you have redness to your skin and you'll have more like redness prone skin, beta-glucan is so good for that. I just, I'm obsessed with that ingredient, you guys. I love it so much. So when I saw that this has like a main ingredient, one of the main ingredients is beta-glucan, I was like, no way. So it's got beta-glucan, it has NAPCA, which I'm actually not sure what that is. I'm sure it's super beneficial because Sunita's, all their ingredients are just so good. So I will leave that info down below in the description box, but then all else it has is hyaluronic acid. So basically beta-glucan, hyaluronic acid, you're getting such great ingredients just to really help with the barrier of your skin. Skin. It's gonna hydrate, it's gonna soothe. I am loving this. You can spray this on as a toner. You can spray it throughout the day. Like I just wanna spray this all over my body. Honestly, it's so good. 
feels good and it's just so beneficial. So this has just been another obsession, so in love, and that is everything. That wraps it up for this month of, oh my God, I did it again. What month are we in? April, that is the month we're talking about right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna list all these products as always in the description box. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here and that wraps it up for today. I love you all guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.